enough talking. Whoever designed the Sierra Madre, their obsession with messing with frequencies and signals. I'm coming down. I'll meet you face to face at the vault entrance. If you resist, I'll use the collar even if it puts the vault at risk. I'm coming down. I'll meet you face to face at the vault entrance. No tricks. If you prove troublesome well, there's always the collar. I'm coming down. Forget the Sierra Madre security. I'll find you myself. Try to break into the vault, I'll set off the collar. Ask. You still have time. Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. Good. Well done. Now for the festivities and your part in all this. The owner of the Sierra Madre, for whatever reason, keyed the grand opening to the gala event itself. It needs to be fired off in order for the casino doors to open. As I've discovered, one person can't do it. So get your team into position indicated on your pit boy, then trigger it properly. You're so close now, don't let me down. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the next team. You return. Why? Gather the three as I've instructed, then I will have more for you. Not before. Curious? You must be. We have time now that you've done your work. And our interactions have been too one-sided, even for my tastes. You... You're in the vault, finally, after all this time. The Sierra Madre. Mine. Don't move. Don't go into the vault, and don't touch anything else. There may be more traps down there. Another security system. Good. Well done. Now for the festivities and your parts in all this. The owner of the Sierra Madre, for whatever reason, keyed the grand opening to the gala event itself. It needs to be fired off in order for the casino doors to open. As I've discovered, one person can't do it. So get your team in position indicated on your pit boy, then trigger it properly. You're so close now, don't let me down. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the next team. Are you listening? From now on, when I talk to you, pay attention. I've left markers on your pit boy Find the three other callers in town. Eight. 12 and 14, get them to the fountain. Obey me, and you can all go free. The bell tower. That's where you'll trigger the gala event. It's a ways up. I'm sure you'll find a way to climb up there. And once you get near the top, look for a ladder. It's easy to miss. I warned you to cooperate. Now I'll have to begin again. You're at the ghoul's gala area. Now make him stay. I can hear the event firing off. Now get to the main gate of the Sierra Madre quickly. Get there soon or the doors will seal and you'll be trapped outside. You're at one of the gala locations. You'll need to bring the mutant here. Only he has the strength to operate the levers, I've found. Get the mute down the elevator and into the manual override chamber. There, the switching station. That's where you'll need to bring the mute. Leave the Salida del Sol gate alone. You're not done with the villa yet, so don't stray. Get there soon or the doors will seal and you'll be trapped outside. Don't go through the gate to Puesta del Sol yet. Gather the others first. The villa's comm speakers have aged poorly, like the Madre. Pre-war junk. The speakers emit a signal that'll set off your collar if you stay too long. That's a way out after you break into the Sierra Madre's vault. Try to leave? I'll set off your collar. Watch out for the villa inhabitants. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. If you can, blow them up or disintegrate them. Picking up signals near your location. Detonators. Watch for traps. Outside, you may notice your visual pulse. Get dizzy. It's the cloud. Eat your inside. Slowly. Too much exposure. Death. This gate to the Sierra Madre is sealed. Locked. For now. Do as I say, and it won't be locked for much longer. Damn speakers at the end of the hall. Red light means they're shielded. Must be where to shut them off somewhere else. Picking up an emitter signature. Watch for security holograms. Dangerous. Don't shoot them. Attacking them is useless. 
There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. Another fragment. Good. Almost have the entirety of what I need from the music archives. Once you have the last fragment, you can thread the archives together at the main floor terminal. You've got one of the floors reestablished. Good. Accessing the music archives now. Two more to go. Oh, it seems the casino has uninvited guests. The villa inhabitants were pounding at the doors. Now they found a way inside. Deal with them, and don't try and leave yourself, or I'll let the caller do its work. Now, back to the suites, and we'll sing the lock open. You have the last fragment. That's all I need. Now, go to the main lobby terminal, thread the music sequence together. Once you have the last fragment, you can thread the archives together at the main floor terminal. Oh, it seems the casino has uninvited guests. The villa inhabitants were pounding at the doors. Now they found a way inside. Deal with them, and don't try and leave yourself, or I'll let the caller do its work. Every time, even with callers clutched at their necks, they would betray each other, kill each other to get inside the Sierra Madre. Cracking the Sierra Madre was difficult, but cracking greed, that was more difficult. So the dead man switches went in. It, it was insanity. They could have had it all. It was so close. And, and they kept turning on each other again and again. When your life is tied to another's sacrifice and cooperation, they can be conditioned, learned, and you can focus on the matter at hand. Greed can be beaten, contained, controlled. You know it better than anyone, or I hope you do. It doesn't matter. Veronica, she survived Helios. She would. Resourceful. As for losing Helios One, that was the only outcome aside from retreat. NCR swarming like ants over old world relics. Hoover Dam. Helios. I won't let those children seize anything else. Harden. McNamara can't stop them. Won't. So I will. With the old world as my weapons. Everyone asks that. Should be asking how they plan on leaving. It only takes putting a collar on one to begin the chain. One with a collar may chain another, and that one another had traps all over the wastes. The chain ends with a super mutant. Although with him, the collar wasn't even necessary. He only needed guidance. All his kind, they exist to be given orders. They're soldiers, simple. Stupid. I asked him to fetch, and he did, even without the threat of death. Even when I stopped speaking to him, he continued to leave the villa, gather victims from the man traps out of habit. He must have found you in one of them. If so, he's probably forgotten. He only remembers my voice. Still, had he tried to escape, I would have killed him. But if the collar detached, he still would have held on to it, though, instinctually. You think I'm a murderer? If I was, I'd have set off your collar long ago. The collar ensures compliance, encourages cooperation. Think about it. Would you truly have gotten into the casino without those collars? No. Human nature is against us, always. Did you know that I had to keep adjusting the collars, keep changing the rules to make this moment possible? It lies in the bunker, or whatever man trap caught you. It's the Sierra Madre. Its security systems strip guests to their garments. It has prejudices against outside material, contraband, almost anything with a radiation signature. The new Vegas casinos do the same thing, manually. Although preventing bloodshed, not radiation poisoning, is their main concern. Of course... I walked all this way. If you're worried, I'll give you a map back or show you the way out when this is all over. You think I wanted to send you here without weapons, healing? No, 
The Sierra Madre lays you bare, strips and stores all your worldly possessions. It's automated to move things as the builders saw fit. Sinclair, even the guests. It's what divided your team, me, assigned us to our floors. No contraband. Nothing foreign in his paradise. Even common pre-war vending machines were banned from the villa. I know that. Their days were numbered since they occupied Hoover Dam. The villa did, as an extension of the casino, yes. And then sent it back to the owner's residence. Here, begin again, is more than a slogan. I've read your pip, boy. Seen what you've done. If you wish to end them, I could use someone like you. Resourceful, uncompromising. NCI has many soldiers, many citizens. Attack? No. Not attack them. Wipe the slate clean. Make the Mojave like it was meant to be. Undisturbed by man. I'll send the cloud, the holograms. Bring ruin in my hands until only I stand atop the Helios One Tower again. I'll scour Hoover Dam with the cloud. Rain its walls with spears from the sun, with an army of old world ghosts behind me, holograms all. I'll kill them until it's only me, me, alone, in a quiet world, in a world that's nothing like what happened at Helios 1. It started with a setback. Fires, blood, beneath the sun, a sun so close you could touch it. Moments like that, however, failures, can provide the brightest clarity. Dog? Huh. Appropriate. It's what I called him. You've met him. You know why he forgot. His brain was ruined by FEV. His memory, wreckage. He may know the way back. Somewhere, deep down, I doubt it. He tracks by smell and instinct. Still, he could be trained. The mutants. <laughs> he swallowed one of the collars. After that, he was mine. The collar wasn't even necessary. All his kind, they exist to be given orders. They're soldiers, simple, stupid. I asked him to fetch, and he did, even without the threat of death. Even when I stopped speaking to him, he continued to leave the villa, gather victims from the man traps out of habit. He must have found you in one of them. If so, he's probably forgotten. He only remembers my voice. He put the collar on you, dragged you here, because he doesn't know any better. It's in his nature, greedy and childlike. Silence and patience will convince me. I'll come for you in time. Irritate me, and I'll silence you forever. Then all you need to do is wait. Be patient. <laughs> you may be down there for a while, just as I was, trapped inside the casino. Consider this punishment for following the Sierra Madre signal in the first place. So eager to rush ahead. Now, enjoy your reward. I've had enough, enough of others stealing from me. As long as you're wearing that collar, you're not far from me. I'll press of a button and I'll find you. I'll just listen for the explosion. Even, even if you damage the mechanism, there's a chance of repairing it. It might take years, but it's possible. I? I have earned it. Fought for it. Paid for it in blood, mine, others, countless times. Indeed. And how would I reach you, let alone speak to you? Perhaps you're not as resourceful as I suspected. The elevator? Then you'd be trapped for certain. No probability of escape. The vault would be as shielded against vandalism just as the casino itself was. No, any damage you could cause would be minimal. No, I don't think so. 
it'd most likely trigger other security measures. If you hurt the vault at all. The builder of the casino built it to last. The Sierra Madre withstood the war. I'm sure the vault is protected as well. Besides, you wouldn't have followed the signal if you didn't want this place's secrets for your own. You're curious. Past the threats. Hmm. The callers, yes. Technology solves so many ills. Enough talking. Save your energy. You'll be down there for a while. The caller? Even if you could trigger it. No, you'd die. Really? No, I don't think so. I can afford to wait. And your threats? Meaningless. Huh. Clever. Really? No, I don't think so. I can afford to wait. And your threats? Meaningless. No. I'm not going to take the chance while I'm so close. Not this close. No. Not again. I can wait. Afford to be careful. You? You're locked down there. This is the only entrance. And I have free reign of the Sierra Madre. I have time. More than you. Besides, there might be more traps. I'll send more scouts in. Yes, others. You're resourceful. Don't want to leave anything more to chance. Proud that you have one? I can hear the superiority. If you seek to goad me, impatience and greed led you here. Not me. It doesn't control me as it does you. I won't fall prey to another trap, either Sierra Madre or yours. There is no trust between us, and there will be no trades either. Hmm. Compliance. Good. The others fought, argued. If they had only obeyed. I see the caller has done its work. I can hear it in your voice. Stand and wait outside the vault, where I can see you from the elevator. After that, I wandered alone, saw the storms of the divide, walked among the ciphers of the west, traveled to the big empty. I heard the signal. The woman's voice, the Sierra Madre, promising a chance to begin again, reversed my fortunes. All nonsense. I tracked the signal, came here. Scout of the city, using other hands. Kept dying on me, killing each other. You. You got the farthest of all. <sighs> Perhaps. Perhaps I was too quick to put a collar on a potential ally. Very well. I'll come down and show you what the Sierra Madre has in store. I've lost much in the past by falling to my instincts. This time, this time will be different. Let you go to crawl back to whatever caravan whore spawned you? No. She was perhaps more talented in deals than you. I've had enough, enough of others stealing from me. Take all the time you need. I suspect the Sierra Madre is more than proof against bobby pins and crowbars. This casino is in some caravan safe, and the lock that secures the Sierra Madre vault doesn't hold all its secrets. Take all the time you need. I suspect the Sierra Madre is more than proof against bobby pins and crowbars. Huh. Clever. Quite certain. How you managed to come all this way amazes me. Perhaps it was luck. Kill yourself. And you decide this now. I can shut down your signal, prevent the caller from going off. You've gotten far. Any farther, try to breach the vault, you become a corpse. What's inside is mine. Anyone else touches it, tries to take it from me, they'll answer for it. Huh. Clever. That signal? That siren's call? Lured me in, yes, and being trapped in the Sierra Madre, perhaps forever, that has made me more cautious. 
I have my freedom, access to the bottom of the casino, and you under my control. I can wait. If you want to appease me, then do so in silence. I'll come for you in time. Irritate me, and I'll silence you forever. Find a way inside? You can try. The Sierra Madre is a patient thing, and it has outlasted many who've come to its doors. The punishment often equals a reward for those without the foresight to see what's in store. I'll let you test the security. See how you stand up. True. The collars have worked better than I'd hoped, with adjustments. Still... I'm not eager to leap into another trap. The Sierra Madres are yours. This experience has taught me human nature is unreliable. You say your freedom is important to you. So did the others that filled the villa before they turned on each other. You might destroy access to the data, not the data itself. Besides, there would be safeguards in place. There's nothing you can do that I cannot undo or recover. And I have the time now, thanks to you. But you recognize the value of what's down there. You would no sooner destroy what's inside the Sierra Madre than destroy yourself. Persist in threatening me or the Sierra Madre's secrets. You're of no use to me. I'll set off your collar now. Hiding in the Sierra Madre. An interesting thought. I'd come to see it more as a prison. Hide. Flee. It doesn't matter. The Sierra Madre is patient. I can be as well. You won't get any farther inside. And you won't escape my sight. As long as you're wearing that collar, you're not far from me. A press of a button, and I'll find you. I'll just listen for the explosion. The Sierra Madre has many defenses, means of screening guests for illicit or dangerous items. Your arrival here, weaponless, was not my intention. The casino, this villa, it takes anything with even a trace of radioactivity, traces of unknown substances, and returns it home. The bunker. The process is automated, and the casino itself has other similar services. I was unable to find a workaround except to send others in as tools. When you came into the bunker, you saw a victim, their head blown off for disobedience. The city is filled with other stories. Many such stories is no your choice. I brought you here. There are mechanisms in place once the traps across the Mojave are sprung. For now, your sole focus should be the Sierra Madre and how to get inside. Until then, you won't leave alive. Then you are of no use to me. No, while it will erode your health, it will only bring you to the point of death, no farther. At that point... The air here is lethal only if you enter concentrated pockets of the cloud. Too long inside one, you'll die. So be careful where you step. The air here is lethal only if you enter concentrated pockets of the cloud. Too long inside one, you'll die. So be careful where you step. I've seen some survive concentration of the cloud for short periods of time. If healthy enough, others were too weak. Deep breathers, chemical suits, there is no protection against it. It decays all the touches. I found fighting it useless. One is a trusted ally. Obedience, caller or no, although the caller helps. The other two? Well, we'll have to see what the traps caught. Assembly stations. Schematics are stored within. Dispensers with unlock codes. They use the chips scattered around as batteries. Alloys are raw material embedded in the shell. They resemble the vending machines of Mojave, but they are crafting devices of tremendous versatility. Once a noble convenience, now, now they are a means of survival. Use the chips with power. Select from the holographic display. The device will assemble it. Unfamiliar with the legend of the Sierra Madre? The casino exists. 
You are one of the few who look upon it. Where you're standing is the villa beneath the casino above. The wreckage. The villa lies in the shadow. The villa is a dumping ground of failed construction. Pre-war junk that has aged poorly. It's like that pit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some tune. Do what I say, and the caller will go off. Refuse, try and run, disobey me, I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. Yes, the inhabitants. Avoid them if you can. They are difficult to kill. Whatever has created them, bullets, explosions, energy, it can make them inert for a time. Then they seem to crawl back up, restored. Perhaps it's the cloud. Perhaps something in their physiology. It is the cloud covering the villa. The longer you are outside, the more its toxins seep into your system, through the lungs and the skin. You will eat at you the longer you are outside. So wherever you go, move fast, or you'll soon find yourself too weak to move. It is the cloud that surrounds the villa. It shouldn't prove lethal in the time you were here. Prolonged exposure would be hazardous, however. Fall asleep. And you will not wake up. Around the villa are three other callers like yours. Caller 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the phone. Then we'll talk more. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. I am short on patience, and you are short on time. Ask anywhere sheltered from the cloud, inside buildings, tunnels, any place not exposed to the outside air. Anything the cloud has touched has preserved it one way or another, but only the holograms in the villa truly remain. Yes, music was intended to be broadcast all over the villa. Over time, however, the radio signal has decayed and emits a different frequency. Speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators premature. Hmm. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. So, you'll have to make do. Someone who followed the call of the Sierra Madre just as you did. Now that I've found it's more than a story, I intend to take what's inside. Maybe that's why you came, why you followed the Pip-Boy here, and straight into one of my traps. Now, this is your reward. Gather the three others needed for this job, return them here. After that, I'll have more instructions for you. Take the others to their positions to trigger the gala event. After that, the doors of the Sierra Madre should open. Yes, but not immediately. You'll hear a beep from your caller's detonator. When you do, step back, scan the area, and find the signal source. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. The damaged speakers are sparking. Hard to miss. The casings are resistant to vandalism. Punching or hitting them will not destroy them. Then go. The Sierra Madre may wait. I will not. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your Pip-Boy, in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Do this. I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Confused? Don't be. I'm commandeering the hologram technology of the villa. Numbers, equations, circles, all can be controlled, provided there's a connection and the knowledge to use it. This villa, the casino, a treasure trove of such devices. The holograms included. Most holograms perform specific functions. 
The security holograms, ever since the bombs fell, now perform their function. They will kill anyone they detect. They are immune to guns, weapons, EMPs, even energy weapons. Still, they have limitations. Their design limits their field of view, enough to avoid detection. Still, at least they still work as intended. Other technology here is more of a threat to you. Notably, the villa's radios and speakers. Each has an emitter, destroy or disable it, and they cease to be a threat. Ghosts. They fill the villa. More in the casino. Much more. They carry out the functions the dead once did. They cannot be harmed. They only perform the same rote tasks until their power dies. They are of no consequence, except for the security holograms, the ones with the silhouettes of the armored Sierra Madre guards. As for its origins, I'm not certain. Pre-war industrial pollutants, something in the Sierra Madre structure. It is unique across the wasteland, and deadly. It has kept this place preserved since the Great War. The cloud is what blankets the sky here. You may smell it in the air, copper and sulfur. Burns the lungs and seeps into the skin. Your piece of Rocco trash will help you, I've ensured it. It can latch onto the signal of the callers and tune into their frequencies. The bomb callers come with radios embedded in them. You can eavesdrop easily. It was part of their design to listen in. They can even screen out white noise from the environment to allow greater monitoring. A long story. FEV, a virus, is an even longer story. It gave birth to the docile one, turned them into a super mutant long ago. Yes. Caller 8, the FEV reject, the super mutant. He is docile, predictable, and provided he's not starving, should be easy to command. I lost contact with him some time ago. Probably after he dragged you here from the trap. Find him. He'll follow you, caller or no. I do not know. A pre-war icon, perhaps. It is of no consequence, aside from being a servant I can utilize. Good. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here, and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. That is for me to know. You get that far, you'll see for yourself. This place is well-preserved. Few who came here ever return. All of the treasures of the old world lie scattered about virtually untouched. Search, hunt, craft what you can from what you find. The trash of the pre-war era can keep you alive. Food, knives, more. Use them. Also, there is one more thing in your possession. A rifle that will keep you alive. As surely as the caller will. Even the villa's toxins and the residue it leaves behind can be shaped into tools and weapons. Gather it as well. Gunshots, energy blasts, even spears thrown with great force can puncture their exterior. Shielded speakers can't be destroyed at all. You will need to avoid them or switch them off via a terminal. I'll leave the method up to you. It is a hollow rifle, a weapon I constructed when I arrived. I have since made superior models and modifications. For now, that too will have to do until you find other weapons. And I suggest you do. The hollow rifle's ammo is limited. Still, it should serve well enough. I fashioned it from the holograms of the villa and used it against the villa's living inhabitants. <laughs> Get here. You walked into one of my traps in the Mojave, following the Sierra Madre signal. Now, you're here with that collar on your neck. Because in some respects, breaking into the Sierra Madre is easier than breaking the human instinct. Greed. The villa is filled with corpses. 
Some killed by the dangers here, some by me. Others turned on each other. Once they realized the Sierra Madre could be theirs, they cared nothing for their freedom, their survival, or each other. The ones brought here live on only in what they've left behind. Their marks, graffiti on the walls, and victims they've killed. Some tried to help, left supplies and healing for others who came. Their reward, they were tracked down, killed by others with baser instincts. Some of these murderers went as far as to leave traps behind them, turning markers for help into death traps for anyone following them. It killed some of them when they forgot where the traps were, or when they desperately needed the assistance they had cut others off from. The Sierra Madre has many defenses, means of screening guests for illicit or dangerous items. Your arrival here, weaponless, was not my intention. The casino, this villa, takes anything with even a trace of radioactivity, traces of unknown substances, and returns it home. The bunker. The process is automated, and the casino itself has other similar services. I was unable to find a workaround except to send others in as tools. Still, I have not left you defenseless, and the Sierra Madre's security, in some respects, can help you if you are resourceful enough. A display of lights, fireworks, music in the streets, a pre-war festival to mark the casino's opening. The bomb struck first. It is of no consequence only firing the event is. Get the three in position, then travel to your position in Salida del Sol and trigger the gala. After that, the real work begins. I'd suggest taking the FEV reject to his position first. Although you may need his brutality and strength elsewhere first. As easy as the villa was to navigate, the outlying areas of the villa are far more dangerous, thicker with the ghost people, traps, and toxins. Use your team as I use you. Listen to your caller. Watch where you step. You are no use to be dead. Perhaps you think this is a simple robbery, a cheap casino heist. No, this is a heist of the centuries. We're not plundering Sierra Madre. We're plundering history, taken from the old world itself. It won't let its secrets go easily, not without a fight. I wouldn't expect anything less. I've unlocked the west and east gates to Cuesta del Sol and Salida del Sol. Now that you've survived the villa, I need to get to my position. You don't need me to hold your hand anymore. I'll keep monitoring you via the transceivers through the villa. If I need to offer guidance, I will. When you came into the bunker, you saw a victim, their head blown off for disobedience. The city is filled with other stories, many such stories. Is no your choice? Too many, many. This place is dangerous. And its quarantine measures, its hazards, have claimed many failures upon failures. Do you think I wanted to place collars on you to ensure compliance? No. If robots could have done this, I would have sent them. The Sierra Madre is a complicated lock. Cracking it open requires human hands. That structure you see above the fountain, the Sierra Madre Casino, you need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps, you'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. Travel west toward the Villa Police Station. Follow the radio frequency and the alarms. Although, there's a great deal of interference in the source. Perhaps that's why I lost contact with him. No matter, aside from Caller 8, there should be weapons, armor at the police station. Go west, avoid the villa inhabitants, bring the mutants back. Everyone asks that. Should be asking how they plan on leaving.
It only takes putting a collar on one to begin the chain. One with the collar may chain another, and that one another had traps all over the wastes. The chain ends with the super mutant. Although with him, the collar wasn't even necessary. He only needed guidance. The collars, they're pre-war tech. I suspect this great land had compliance issues before the war. It's one of a series of models. The one in your neck? Special. Easier to make adjustments. Unreliable in other ways. Notably radio interference. Big Empty's a treasure box. A scientific graveyard of old world misery. Like the Sierra Madre, there's treasures there sleeping. Some awake. The hollow rifle, the Saturnite alloy, the hologram technology, hibernation chambers, securitrons, the collars. Even the suits attached to those things, stalking the villa. That's only the surface of what's there. Right now, the Sierra Madre is what I want. A place far from here called the Big Empty. Almost didn't make it out. There were two others there. A woman and a man, a courier. The woman was familiar. The other? I don't know what happened to them. The cloud is unique in my travels. Its proximity to the Sierra Madre isn't a coincidence. Right now it protects this casino, preserves it. It can be used to preserve other old world relics and cleanse them at the same time. And as much as I've researched hologram technology, the big empty facility was clear. Only the Sierra Madre got holograms working properly. Sources of food, supplies, medical assistance, ammo, make more callers, even print currency. Make a nation. The cloud allows me to wipe the slate clean. Callers ensure cooperation. Holograms, defense. The vending machines provide everything else. The Sierra Madre can kill nations and build them, using its technology with the right applications. Now, there's one last thing I want from the Sierra Madre. It's bounty. The machines that fill its streets, its corridors. They provide, provide almost anything. Perhaps in the pre-war era, they were commonplace, things to dismiss. Now they are far more valuable. You know it. They helped keep you alive. What do I want? Weapons, security, a citadel of my own. The Madre is all these things. It's a fortress, a weapon, a chance to begin again. Once I unlock its archives, I can carve the Mojave into any shape I choose. The holograms here kill trespassers. That's what I want. Dump one of those emitters in the middle of any battle, there's no defense. It's like holding light in your hands. Can fight it. Only watch it burn. Just one is a portable army. Arm it. Anyone stands against you, dies. Do I? For what? Your greed? Curiosity? You came here on your own. No one held a gun to your head. I've seen your Pip-Boy archives, your map markers and notes. You picked up the Sierra Madre signal just as I did. You couldn't resist. So if you feel I have a lot to answer for, no, the blame isn't on my shoulders. Might as well have put the collar on yourself. You speak as if your fingers have never touched the keys of a Robco terminal. No machine is foolproof. They are designed to obey us. The Pip-Boy's operating system has vulnerabilities, advantages to those who've studied its construction even superficially. It's just a machine, though. Its real vulnerability is who wears it. And that's how you were caught. Hiding? Hardly. Trapped. You think you were the first one to unlock the casino door? No, I did it. With other hands, other bodies. After that, the casino wouldn't let go. Once I was locked in, no way out. Until your Pip-Boy signal came to life in the villa. Then, then, uh, things change. And here you are. That thing on your wrist. It's a convenience. It tells you where to go, what to do. Dulls your brain. 
It may have helped you find the Sierra Madre broadcast, but it's just as much a crutch today as it was in the old world. Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. That idiot's opened the gas valves. A single spark, or he sets off his collar, the casino's going to burn. Us, along with him. Shut off the gas valves or that idiot will kill us all. Don't let him spot you. If he does, talk him down before he has a chance to ignite the gas. Now get out! Before your collar blows. Must be a back entrance to the kitchen. Check the main casino side corridors. Find it. Hurry up and deal with the FEV reject. He's of no use to us. You inside. Can you hear me? Power is fluctuating. Emergency power. Oh, you are in. Good. Thought that might be the end of you. Unfortunately, your friends also found their way here. Knocked unconscious, just like you. Hmm. Getting interference from old recordings. The guests who were trapped here shut that noise off. My signal should work through the speakers now that you're inside. <laughs> Welcome to the Sierra Madre in all its glory. This is what the old world stood for, even with bombs about to rain down on them. Now, look at it. Beautiful now its guests are all dead. Better this way. Quiet. How the Mojave should be. Now, with the casino sleeping, it's got places closed off. Won't let you go yet. We'll get there. Trust me, just need to wake it up. This is the past you're walking through. Few have ever seen it. No one else ever will. I worked hard to get here. It'll give me what I need before I leave. And they'll always welcome me back. Now, look for a way to wake this ghost up. Remind it, it's got guests. You woke it up good. Emitter frequencies lighting up everywhere. Damn recordings. Dead echoes in the frequencies. Casino security is shutting down, opening up its vendor and gambling programs in the back casino. <laughs> Still might be something for sale. Maybe something can help you now security shut down. After you're done looking around, head to the lobby and we'll deal with your friends. Looks like the casino moved your friends around once inside. Might be useful or not. Wonder if they came to help or kill you. Still, wondering what happened? You were hit by casino security. Detects anything foreign, radioactive. It subdues the visitor, moves them if needed. Speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators prematurely. Hmm. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. So, you'll have to make do. The floors, whatever they line this place with, interferes with the caller frequency. So if you kill them, you should have some time to run. Oh, just not sure how long may not be consistent. More or less, whatever, it, it doesn't matter. Casino's woken up, paying attention to us. Good. Wondering what happened to your team? Looks like they got moved to other floors. Interesting. Maybe that's why... Oh, yes, yes. After all, it's safe to kill them now, provided you make it quick. You see, the collars don't work inside the Sierra Madre. Well, between floors. Else I'd set off the collars. Be done with it. So find them, deal with them, as long as you're fast and can get off the floor after killing them. What we need is in the basement. We need to go to the top first and write our fortunes down. After we deal with your team on the other floors. I'll leave the choice up to you. 
My preference? End them now. They're of no use. Had hoped with the power restored, the systems would fully awaken. Especially the sound archives. But no. Your teammates' callers on each floor are interfering with the systems. It's the white noise filters embedded in their construction. They're blocking the casino speakers, the music. You'll need to recalibrate or destroy each caller. To do that, you need to get close, reset the signal, or blow their heads off. Perhaps the casino recognized specific guests, or guests with a voice or look close enough for them to be assigned to that floor. We'll see. Floors buzzing with emitter signatures. Watch out for holograms. The door to the vault is voice activated, which means we need the starlet's voice, or recordings of it. Find the mute and deal with her. She's somewhere on this floor. The elevator to the casino vault is locked. Find a way to open it. Your collar's ticking. Get out of that floor. If that ghoul's still alive, correct that. Or break him. Door sealed. Must be a key to the backstage. Hunt for it. Get to the door before the collar explodes. Move! Now, deal with the ghoul. This has gone on long enough. Hmm? Huh? What's this? I'll have the Sierra Madre kill you for me. You can't beat all the casino's defenses. It's only a matter of time now. Ah, pre-war junk. I'll put you down myself. This entire structure is mine to command. Security, weapons, all this technology, mine. Now, you die. You think you've outsmarted me? You can't get away. You're the one on a leash. You always were. I'm not without weapons of my own. Let me show you. Pre-war tech. So easy to control. Just like your Pip-Boy, turrets, holograms. They're all just toys. Time is against you. It always was. Think you've won? You've won nothing. Staying in the vault? Think it'll protect you? No. I don't think so. Alarms. What? You. Think you can run? Think you can trick me? You think you've escaped? No. No, you were never out of reach. My hand was always around your neck. Struggle all you want. The Sierra Madre will be your grave. Don't have time for this. Did you really think you could steal from me? The Sierra Madre is mine. You came all this way, but you lost as soon as you arrived here. You think you've escaped. You can't outrun me. You are always under my control. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? You won't get out. I'll bring the whole Sierra Madre down on you. Bury you here with all the others. Think you can escape? No. That hand on your throat is mine. Always was. A slip of the tongue led to the courier's death. Unable to detonate his victim's collar from a distance, Elijah chose another method. The murder took days to plan and less than a minute to execute. Reprogramming the casino's ventilation system, Elijah turned the vault into a gas chamber, filling it with the cloud and killing the courier. In the years that followed, the legend of the Sierra Madre faded, and there were no new visitors to the city. Years later, when a mysterious blood-red cloud began to roll across the Mojave, then west toward the Republic, no one knew where it had come from, only that it brought death in its wake. Attempts to find the source of the toxic cloud failed. Eventually, the last vestiges of NCR faded from the Mojave and the West, wiping the slate clean. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead, a city of ghosts, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom, an illusion that you can begin again. Change your fortunes.
Finding it, though. That's not the hard part. It's letting go. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead. A city of ghosts beneath a blood-red cloud. A bright, shining monument, reaching out, luring treasure hunters to their doom. An illusion. A promise that you can change your fortunes. Begin again. Finding it, though. That's not the hard part. It's letting go. 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 You've heard stories of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. This story's different than the others. It's all in promise of beginnings. And the ending. In the years that followed, the legend of the Sierra Madre faded, and there were no new visitors to the city. Years later, when a mysterious blood-red cloud began to roll across the Mojave, then west toward the Republic, no one knew where it had come from. Only that it brought death in its wake. Attempts to find the source of the toxic cloud failed. The Mojave was cut off. Through the cloud, lights were seen from Helios 1. There were stories of ghosts immune to gunfire who struck down anyone they saw with rays of light. The last chapter of the Mojave came when a modified Repcon rocket struck Hoover Dam, releasing a blood-red cloud, killing all stationed there. All attempts to penetrate the cloud and retake the dam failed, and both the NCR and Legion finally turned away from it, citing the place as cursed. In the years that followed, the legend of the Sierra Madre faded, and there were no new visitors to the city. Only two remained alive in the depths of the cloud at the Sierra Madre, waiting for their new world to begin again. This is the place you need to go and everyone is in place. Until then, nothing more than a diseased view of the Sierra Madre. Can you hear me? Damn transceivers. Let me link the callers to the speaker in the tower, then... There. Can you hear me? Damn transceivers. Let me link the callers to the speaker in the tower. Then... There. This is the place you need to go and everyone is in place. Until then, nothing more than a diseased view of the Sierra Madre. Finally, now the gates will open, and so will the skies. It's letting go. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. Foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future, not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time like a big flash bulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. A chance for anyone to begin again. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future. Not just for the world. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flash bulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. But for all who came to its doors, the world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. We all have. The legend, the curses, 
An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. Foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses. Don't you leave me here. You can't do this to me. It's getting dark in here. Machine. Machine's losing power. No, I, I still have Pip-Boy light. Maybe, maybe. No, no, no. It doesn't work. Where, where's the door? Can't find the door. Come. Been in worse situations. Find a way out. Somehow. Then find that courier. Maybe Veronica. No. No, she, she thinks I'm dead. Must be someone. Maybe that other courier. One, one with a flag on his back. Maybe... No, no. Said he'd never come to the Sierra Madre. Huh. Now, come on. You open up. Open the vault. I can make it worth your while. Think about what you're throwing away. I have other weapons. Other technology I can share with you. And the big empty... I know the way there. I know some of its secrets. If the callers, the callers were a mistake. Oh, I see that now. <laughs> Why would I kill you? After all you've done, after all we've done together. Are you listening to me? Everything down here, I, I swear, so much you could see. You could rule the wastes with what's down here. Make your own army. Reshape the world. And if others disagree... Put collars on them. I can show you how. No way out. Can't... Can't end like this. You. I know you can hear me. When you die, Courier, I'll be waiting. Your grave's going to look just like this vault. When you die, I'll be waiting here. The Sierra Madre, waiting. Hey, who are you? So, they sent you. Cowards. Those scars. You were the one at the big empty. I have no idea what you're talking about, and I don't have time for this nonsense. Now you stand back, or I'll blow your head from your shoulders. What are you doing? Stop. Th th that collar. No, no, no. I need to shut it off. No, get, get, get out of here. What's the door? The door won't open. Ah! Ah! I warned you to cooperate. Now I'll have to begin again. Good thing I installed radios in the callers. Pit boys letting me pick them up. What the hell is 21 doing now? Fool better not decide to sleep. Vitals go down. I'll get someone else to do this job. Hmm. Uh, sitting too long. Damned arthritis. Come too far to go back now. Too far. I'm going to wipe the slate clean. Kimball, the Republic, Harden, McNamara, my brothers. Then I'll head back west. Good thing I can still hook into the villa speakers by remote. Damn hologram tech. Worthless as security. Better as weapons. What the hell are they doing out there? Hurry up, you idiots. I don't have a few more years to waste. Outwitted by doors. Hermetically sealed doors don't protect anyone. All they do is seal us in. Why the owner tied all of this to the gala event? Insanity. Backwards thinking. Having a festival be your key. No wonder the bombs fell. What the hell was that? If you're wondering where your crew is, well, the casino saw them as guests. Which means they all got assigned to their floor. Just like mine. Don't worry about them. They're of no use if you can't get the power running. All I need is you for the rest of this. Which means we just need to deal with them one by one. And then the vault's ours. 
End of line. Ha! You got the power on. Excellent. You were quite a fine. Glad my trap in the desert caught you before time ran out. And also glad you didn't come across this place first. Might have plundered it first. Can't have that. Like at Helios. And who them? Now, I just need you to go below, look around, see if there's any other surprises down there. I'll be along once you've found the vault. No need risking myself just yet. <sighs> Still can't figure out why I lost the signals. There's no reason why it could have gone wrong. I had it all planned out. <sighs> Maybe it was the curse of the Sierra Madre. <coughs> Damn, clouds still in my lungs, rattling around. <sighs> Damn it. Get back here. Well, there's no, there's nothing at 4.15, is there? No, okay. Better loop some instructions in case something happens. Going to get inside this place if it's the last thing I do. Running out of volunteers, last ones couldn't see beyond their own greed. If only people would do what I say. Wouldn't need these damn collars to keep them in line. Keep going for each other's throats like dogs. Wish I still had that damn hollow rifle. Spent forever making it. Need to find it when this is all done. All right, now everything's coming together. Just need to keep their gears turning a little while longer. Ugh. Can't believe this old pip boy saved me. Even if it led me to that damn signal in the first place. Good thing the new recruit had a pip boy too. Probably stole it from a vault 21 dweller. Still, a thief's just what I need for this. If only the others were to, if only the others would have obeyed orders half as well as this one. Should have thought of linking the callers together the first few times. The gala events, finally. Probably wake up half the things in town. Power's fluctuating in here, getting some systems waking up. That's good. Good. Now all they have to do is just get here. Tired of waiting. Hurry, hurry. You just need to get inside. I'll handle the rest. Come on, you fools. Not far now. Soon the Sierra Madre's mine. Doors won't hold open forever, just like the last time. Come on. Can you hear me? Should. Can you hear me? Signal should be stronger in here. I'll set this on loop. Just in case I need to step away for a moment. When the bombs hit, this casino sealed up like an emperor's tomb. If you don't know what that means, never mind. It means we're trapped. So, get the power running to the main floor. That'll open the elevators and unlock the doors. The ones that didn't strip their gears when they locked into place. Old world junk, shoddy workmanship. Once the power's on, then I'll tell you your next step. Just get this part done and then listen. All right, setting this on repeat in case you're some idiot savant brain case and need the reminder. So, my greedy friend... We've got some unfinished business. I'm not one to share, and there's loose ends we need to wrap up first. The rest of your team is on different floors. They got assigned there, ushered there, based on the casino's records as to the best fit. Don't ask me how. Pre-war casino security and escort systems aren't my specialty. Go to each floor and kill them. I don't need them anymore. Well, now that you're here... We don't need anyone except each other. Together we'll crack the Sierra Madre and we can both leave this place behind. Now, if anything about our little heist went smoothly, you'd go to the vault. Except it's locked by some code I'm not familiar with. The door to the casino vault is hidden in the executive suites. Without the means to unlock it, it's useless. Find a way to open it. Bypass the code, then we'll talk. You did it. A voice lock. Why would he have done that? 